What's a rude behavior a friend of yours is that no one calls him her out on? I had a friend in high school who would lie about stupid things, usually things you couldn't necessarily prove was a lie or were not worth the argument. He once said he met the Rock at an airport then 6 months later saw him again and Rock remembered his name. Well the Rock is a personal friend of mine, I'll ask him. Knowing everything, I can make something up and she'll still somehow be informed. Can't believe the state of the Southeast Asian paraglider trade, I know right. I have a friend who would do things to pee people off, for no reason other than because they get peed off by it. Often it's little things like putting his feet on someone else's bed, after specifically being told not to. Bad idea to tell him not to do something, no one calls him out often, I don't even know why. He needs one or two really solid butt kickings, it would seem. People that do things like that do them because they know nobody is going to do anything about it. My boyfriend's twin will call me or my boyfriend and if we don't pick up right away, he'll passive aggressively text us saying something along the lines of when you're done forwarding me to voicemail call me back or some other BS. He takes everything so personally all the time but none of us in our circle of friends say anything because he would take it as an attack, like everything else in life. I think we all know this guy. I have a friend that will just bring up unnecessary facts about your life to use them as a sly dig. It's really hard to call her out on it because the things she says are technically true. They are just tactless and unnecessary. When she does get called out or someone responds similarly, she gets annoyed. For example, over dinner she commented about one of the girls never having a boyfriend and how shocking that was, even though the conversation was not even close to leading to that topic. Um you should probably as a group shut this crap down. Constantly making jokes about you to make you feel stupid or less. It's also impossible to talk back at him because he will just start talking louder to get his point across. I lose my freaking mind when people talk louder than me so that they don't have to listen to what I am saying. My roommate is always late to everything and she will straight lie to you about it. For example, one time I was witness to an interaction where she had to be somewhere at 6. Her friend called her at 6.30 and said hey, we're all waiting for you, where are you and she replied oh sorry I'm literally almost to your house. She then proceeded to get into the shower, do her makeup, and put clothes on all while they were calling her. She then started to walk over an hour later and got angry at the fact that they would dare leave without her. She couldn't believe how rude that was. This is how she is with everything and I've tried to explain to her that it's inconsiderate and by being that late all the time she is essentially saying that her life and time is more important than everyone else's. She just won't see it that way, but as soon as you slight her in the least she will get angry. I am pumped to move. 8 more months. I can do this. I had a friend who was a psycho when it came to controlling the social lives of everyone in her circle. I came into it because our kids are friends. She was always having parties. It doesn't sound like much, but these parties were extensive and took a lot of work to attend. Each one had a costume, a dish to bring, and a specific theme. They were always at her house, and usually lasted for 7-10 hours, seriously, they all consisted of heavy drinking and tree burning. One of us always had to stay sober to be the DD, and she constantly tried to get the DD to drink and smoke, it became an obsession. She would try and tempt us with beer, and if we refused, she would start trying to make us sleep over, she wouldn't even come to our house for an hour over the years. I started noticing how everything had to be on her terms. I broke it off after she bitched me out for not coming to one of her complicated drinking parties. Most of the people in the social circle with her won't talk to us now. It's like a weird cult. I've got a mate who could talk the hind legs off a donkey. I once fell asleep in a park next to him and woke up half an hour later and he was still talking to me. He hadn't even noticed. He also interrupts if you're telling a story, often with completely incorrect assumptions, which you then have to explain before you can carry on with your story. Love the kid but Jesus freaking Christ talking to him is a struggle sometimes. Good thing you just fell asleep and didn't have a heart attack or something. Talking entirely too loudly, my friend practically screams everything she says. This happens in her home, in her car, my least favorite the sound amplifies in the small space, in quiet restaurants, to people she hardly knows. It is beyond embarrassing, 
Almost every time I get home from seeing her I pour myself a glass of wine to wash away the shame. The most recent example I could think of was we were in a small restaurant coffee shop hybrid. There were about 5 other people in there. The place can't fit much more than 10. All of whom were either reading silently or getting some work done on their laptops. We bust in the doors and she is not only screaming talking. She is also being overly familiar with the person working the counter. Who you can tell feels so uncomfortable and is answering awkwardly in a normal volume and she just keeps screaming her responses and laughing so loudly it's like a cackle. One of my good friends recently told me that I have two volumes, off and loud. It's frustrating, because I don't want to be the big dumb loud person. But growing up my parents were both hard of hearing, which is probably how I got in the habit. Guy always feels the need to act like a multimedia DJ. No matter what we're talking about he has to fiddle with his phone and play sound or movie clips that have nothing to do with what we're talking about. It's always the same movie sound clips, all from the same series of films. Dude, I haven't been to Red Lobster in ages. Bro. Man. Those cheesy biscuits. Guy. Fiddles with phone. Balam 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 ricochet ricochet. Sound effects from Michael Winslow of the Police Academy series. Lol. Red Lobster. I have a friend who will tell you he's going to come over at around 7. Send him a message at 8. He doesn't answer. Again at 9. No answer. 10pm comes around. And look who's at the front door. And then staying at my place until 2 in the morning. No one calls him on it because, guess what, we're just going to stop inviting you places. No one wants to deal with your inconsiderate bullcrap. Yeah, but even if you got a new drug dealer, the same thing would happen. I realized recently that I was the rude one. When I used to see my main friends and we'd hang out a lot 15 years ago no matter where we went or what movie we saw if I wasn't that keen on their suggestion I would always fuss and they'd always end up going with what I wanted. I began working later hours and couldn't go out as much and noticed they went to a lot of different places that I used to crap upon. Well, at least you've realized, plenty of people completely lack any self-awareness. Every single time we have company, every single goddamn time, no matter who it is, she's suddenly begging her boyfriend to come to bed and snuggle with her. It has to be done right that second or she starts passive aggressively slamming doors, blasting heavy metal and making backhanded comments about everything he says or does. The guy works more than 60 hours a week, then comes home and works on personal projects like refurbishing the shed or the attic. When he sits down with company for a couple seconds, she's suddenly trying to be all over his lap, asking him repeatedly when he's coming to bed, that he can play later. He and his buddies play Monster Hunter together. He can't watch movies with us. He can't sit down and have a beer. He can't play games with anyone. The moment a guest walks into our house is the moment she must get him back into their bedroom to cuddle, which basically means that she either sits on the computer while he lays in bed alone trying to occupy himself or they go to sleep, or argue, or all of the above. Some of our friends brush this behavior off as her being affectionate and that it's cute. Most of us find it freaking irritating and ridiculous. Once in a while, I'd understand, but this is literally every time someone else comes over. He either gives in to her and becomes miserable the whole night because he can't, you know, enjoy his company, or he grows a pair and tells her no and they then fight half the goddamn night. I think most of us are afraid to say anything, but I know a couple people who have stopped coming over completely because of it and another few who are reaching a boiling point. So it's a matter of time before someone blows up at her that isn't her boyfriend. The dude always has to top stories, and do so while interrupting other people. It's so annoying, but he's dumb enough that no one wants to call him out on it. I had a friend that no matter what you told him he already knew about it. Current event. I know right. John's throwing a party. Yeah I know. Have you heard about the immortal jellyfish? Yeah man animal planet. But he doesn't read news, or have cable, and John didn't invite him on purpose. Should tell him some false information and see if he says that he knows already. I have a friend who is late for everything. Insanely late. If dinner is planned for 7pm, I'll tell her the reservation time is 6.30pm and she'll still show up later than everyone else, usually around 7.45. The worst part is, every dang time she comes in saying oh my god I'm suaru late, 
I'm so sorry you guys. A round of drinks on me for keeping everyone waiting and then never buys a round of drinks or speaks up when it comes time to separate the bill. She now has offered us all about 5 rounds of drinks. There are 5 of us in the group of girls who go out for dinner. One of the girls who goes out for dinner with us has started making half joke comments. Like I'm ready to cash in my drink I owe yous tonight and the late girl always laughs like she's totally kidding. Grinds my gears. I don't say much about it because I know she'd take it personally and freak out. I used to have a group of 6 friends. We went to movies regularly. We had a friend who used to talk really loud at movies. His nickname was Bwelsh. It was embarrassing and annoying. Eventually I started outgrowing them and was getting fed up with childish shenanigans and whatnot. We went to see a Transformers movie and the obnoxious talking ensued. I snapped. Oh my freaking god be Walsh. Can you watch a freaking movie in silence for once in your freaking life? Then he told me that I was being obnoxious. I laughed and someone a few rows up yelled Walsh. You should listen to your friend. You prick. He stayed quiet. And I haven't heard a word from him since. I have a friend that talks during movies. Loudly. And nothing will get her to shut up. All of her friends. Her boyfriend. Random strangers have all last to please shut the frick up. And nothing changes. She's had popcorn thrown at her. She's been asked to leave by security. And she still won't shut up. I had to stop hanging out with her because her bullheadedness was just too much. The anxious crowd on reddit aren't going to like this. So I'm going to prefix this with. I used to have crippling anxiety and social issues. I'm not just some donghole who doesn't get it. I have an acquaintance at work. Work friends are the high school friend equivalent of your 30s. And she puts herself down to the point that it's embarrassing for everyone involved. I was thinking of knitting something for Rob's new baby. I mean, I'm hoping that he wouldn't mind too much. I don't think he'd be too annoyed by that. Do you? He'll probably just put it into a charity shop or something. Which is fine. Obviously. But I thought I'd make him something anyway. Even though he'll probably hate it. You don't think he'll mind. Do you? Hi. I was just wondering if you wanted to come and have lunch with me today. Not just me. Obviously. The rest of the client team too. I wouldn't ask you just to come and have lunch with me. Ahaha. <laughs> Ha, huh. I meant to come and ask you yesterday but I've just been so, so crap this week. God I'm so crap. Yesterday I was so crap at life that I, did something completely normal and unremarkable. And I was just kicking and kicking myself because I just can't believe that I did that. Ugh. God. I'm so stupid all the time. Really. This is really what conversations with her are like. You'll say hi. How are you doing she'll have launched into an awkward barrage of self-hatred. We used to be friendly when she first started working here. I felt kind of sorry for her. But I've asked her often. In a light-hearted now listen. You. Stop putting yourself down like that. There's no need sort of a way. To stop doing it. But her endless. Boundless. Soul sucking black hole of negativity about everything but always about herself is just impossible to be around. I tried for a while. I tried talking her up. Bolstering her and reminding her not to put herself down so much. I tried being a listening ear and just letting her talk it out. And then I ran into some life crap of my own and. You know what? She's 34. This is her life. The rest of us have all kind of given up and drifted away. Which sounds mean. But seriously. I have to be here for 8 hours a day and I can't deal with spending the whole of that time preparing myself for another round of console Edith about how crap she thinks she is. Some days I get close to snapping and just saying Edith. Look. You've spent so much time telling all of us in detail how crap you are that I'm afraid we've all started to believe you and now we can't stand to be around you. But I'm not that mean. And so the slow drift away from her goes on. Ugh. This type of person is so draining to me. Also, the people who make everything about them, but in a negative way. I've heard this referred to as vulnerable narcissism. You could make a totally unrelated comment to someone else and the vulnerable narcissist will be convinced you were making a dig at her. Ugh. Have a friend who refuses to make decisions or voice opinions about what she wants to do, and instead will subtly hint or just shoot down the ideas others suggest, until the thing she wants is the only option left. I have a friend who always talks about himself and expects you to listen to a conversation just about him for about an hour. As soon as I want to say something, he doesn't even care and he quickly interrupts me again. 
My friend has Asperger's syndrome and is extremely aggressive and creepy when it comes to hitting on my friends. He will literally force them to hug him and beg for kisses and phone numbers and crap. It borderlines harassment. And nobody will say anything because he's autistic. He has an excuse. Number. He still needs to be accountable for his actions. I would explain to him. Very literal. Very simple. People do not like it, won't be around you if you do this. It is unacceptable for neurotypical folks and it is unacceptable for someone on the spectrum for the same reasons. Chewing with mouth open. My family does this, back when I lived at home, dinner time was freaking horrible. Like eating with 4 cows on a farm. Not texting back, but then texting you about something completely unrelated shortly thereafter. They all interrupt each other. It's infuriating to watch and I want to run through a wall when they interrupt me. Then when I'm quiet, they think I'm mad. Number. I'm waiting for you to finish talking like a human with respect for others. I'm constantly interrupted. I've asked friends if I have odd speech patterns that indicate I'm done speaking when I'm not. They've all said no. It's mostly co-workers and people I've already identified as talkers in my life. I don't get it, and quite frankly I lose all respect for the people that do this. It's mainly because it's the same people that do it over and over. He's not a friend anymore but I knew a dude that would scrape his nose with his thumb and then pop it into his mouth. No one mentioned it to him. It was the oddest thing in the freaking world. I never said anything, either, because I wanted to see how many people ignored it. Maybe everyone else is doing the same thing. The first thing he has to say about anything is always a complaint. My friend has a really shallow friend ranking system that he based on League of Legends tears. Then he tells everyone about it and tries to get people to hang out with him so that they will rise in rank and guilt trips you by saying you're dropping from silver to bronze or crap like that. This has to be the most autistic one yet. My friend holds the blunt and talks for too long. He shows me YouTube videos in public, like we will be out at a bar, or out at lunch, in public, with other people around. He will take out his phone, pull up a YouTube vid and play it in its entirety with sound and all. I've asked him numerous times to stop, but he legitimately doesn't see the big deal. It is infuriating. My ex did this. Eventually when he'd say hey lem show you I'd say something along the lines of, don't you freaking dare, not in a goddamn restaurant. You have been visited by the romantic doggo. Comment love is magic so you never fall in the friend zone. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.